Good morning, everyone, and welcome to week 11, School Finance. I hope I made this topic more interesting by providing you with a case study called Pool the School. Um, this happened up in the county where I live, up in Prince William County, and um, I think you'll find it an interesting way to um, really get into the content of school finance. So this week, there's no need to respond to a classmate. Instead, you can just do the case study and put your um, discussion board post up by Sunday at midnight. As a reminder, I'm looking at my reminder tabs here. Um, please make sure you fully address the writing prompt. So sometimes I'm asking you to provide me with at least uh, one or two or three reasons or something from the content um, to support your position um, with something that you're drawing from a document. So even though you're telling me your opinion and there's no right or wrong answer, there is a good or better way to present that information and that is by supporting it with um, what I'm telling you to pull from um, the content and from the documents. I guess I just want to see that you've read it and that you're using the information. Um, as a reminder, your list of sources for your education topic paper are due also by Sunday at midnight. I'm asking for you to provide at least three sources, and of course you can have more. Of course, if you decide you want to change or add something or swap something out, that's fine. The purpose in doing this now is just to get you looking for information and reading what's out there so that, um, like we all tend to do, so that you won't procrastinate until the very end and try to write your paper in a hurry. So I'm kind of forcing you to do it in chunks. And I know it's terrible to force people to do things, but I found that when I was a grad student, if I was forced to do things in smaller steps, it really did make it easier at the end. So your sources. I suggest first going to the VCU library system where you can search by a Boolean phrase or a keyword. Please spend some time doing this, at least an hour, probably a little more. I recommend not just grabbing the first thing you find on your topic. Um, you might want to use different uh, papers or articles by the same author. Sometimes that is a, you know, a, there's a connection between the articles. You can also use media sources. So in um, the weekly folder section, all the way down at the bottom, I think it's called the resource folder. There's blogs and other media um, that might be very helpful to you as long as it's an author and something you can cite. And we cite media sources often by providing the URL for them. So take a little time to submit your list of sources. I've asked you to put them into APA format again because you'll need to do that for your paper at the end. So I'm kind of pushing you to do that now. So enjoy the content this week. You've had a little bit uh, longer to look at it because I opened it on Friday. I think it's kind of interesting and um, enjoy your time.